Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Come and like and share and comment. Come and like and share and comment. Your boy done switched up on you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look, if this is your very first time on this channel, yep, I got something I want for you to do. Run over and subscribe for me. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you'll be notified each and every time we upload a video. And then, welcome to the Liz family. And now that you're part of this family, there's some things that we do. We do them just like chores, and we do them every day. We do them every day because they help us grow. Those things are comment, comment, Comment like you share and go on, take for the team. Comment like you share and go on, take for the team. Comment like you share and don't forget to comment like you share. Comment like you share. Comment like you share. Don't forget to comment like you share. Comment like you share. Comment like you share. Don't forget to. Don't forget to comment like you share. Okay, you guys check this out. We're going to pray and we're going to get into day three of three soul food days on the Lips channel. Let's pray and let's get into the goodness. Here we go. Amen. How y'all doing today? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Y'all, today, I just want to let you know it's day three of our three days of soul food on the Lips channel. Baby, did I put it in today for you, baby? I've got a recipe for you at the end, and I've got a surprise. But let's go on and get into this goodness. Y'all, Big Ben is in the building, baby. Big Ben is here. Big Ben is going to help us out because, baby, we got some goodness down here. Let's see if he's nice and refreshing. Mmm. Mmm. Yes, he is. Okay, you guys, today for the food, on this side, we have, baby, fried corn with bacon pieces in it. I'm going to explain to you somewhere in this video how to make this right here. This here, we have fried okra out of my garden. Over here, we have fried cabbage, hot water cornbread, and here in the middle... Up under this pepper, baby, we have chitterlings, chitterlings, baby. Over here to the side, I have got my vinegar, I've got the pink salt, I've got the lips hot sauce, and I've got some onions. Y'all already know where we got that. Let's get to eating. Put our onions over here. Y'all knew that was coming. But, baby, I want to show y'all this here. I'm going to tell y'all the recipe. Now, look, I'm not going to show you the ingredients today on this recipe. So if you need to, pause the video and go get your piece of paper. But let me show you what it looked like so you know what you're trying to write down. Baby, this is pan fried, baby, baby, baby. Pan fried cabbage. I said cabbage. I mean corn. Mmm. <laughs> mm. -mm, -mm, -mm. Mm. That is good. That is good. Mm-hmm. Let's get this cornbread all tore up here, honey. For these cabbage greens. And baby, this is gonna be good. I can tell you that much right now. It's gonna be good. Let me get your first bite. Can you see it? Mm. Mm. Mm mm mm. Mm. -mm. Mmm. Y'all, it's got some fat back in it. And baby, it's good. It's real good. Oh. Mmm. Two things before I forget. First thing, Big Ben has nothing in him but refreshing water. Refreshing H2O. And secondly, we went and got our nails done today. Here are the new ones. Mmm. Uh-oh. Here are the new ones. They're the thumbs. See them? For those of you that are interested. Baby, let me get this little pot sauce out. And get to the extravaganza. Mm-hmm. Put us some lips hot sauce, honey. 
all over these chitterlings. Uh oh. I'm gonna go ahead and put up some vinegar in here too, y'all. Cause this is a lot of chitlins. Chitterlings. And we probably gonna need some help with all this. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all there go. That's the first bite of the chitterling. Mm-mm. 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 <laughs> Y'all, they busting. Mm -hmm. They busting, y'all. Mm. Mm. Baby, that's good. Mm. This okra came out of my garden. I grow in the garden. And then, mm, I cut it up, you know, and bread it with the meal and stuff, and put it in the freezer, and bring it out whenever I'm ready for it. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, y'all, if you ready, like I know, a lot of people like, Boil that cabbage, baby. Give me mine fried. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, this meal is busting. Mm. Mm. The okra is fried crunchy. Just like I like it. Mm. Uh, but outside these chillings, this corn mm -mm -mm, is the business of the day. Let me give you one more bite of it. There you go. I'm going to tell you how to make this. Mm-hmm. 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 That's good. That's good. Mmm. 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 Y'all, this is magnificent. Mmm. Mmm. So. You guys, to make sure I don't forget. If you didn't see our community, community post Sunday night, you can go over there and look at it. But I put up a community post, you guys, because we lost we lost Kobe Bryant today. He was 41 years old. He had the helicopter accident. And if I'm not mistaken, there was nine people. But I do know Within those nine was him and his daughter. Y'all, let's pray for that family. Let's pray for that family. I know that has got to be unimaginable pain for his wife. Um, and I think they have three other daughters, I think. Three or four. Don't, don't quote me on that. But I know they have four or five daughters all together. Hmm. Mm. I don't want to say the wrong thing. I didn't give you any wrong facts. So, but I think his daughter, where he was going, she was like in some kind of all-star game and they were using the helicopter to get there. Mm. Like to avoid the traffic. And when they did, it was really foggy. And in some kind of way, they ended up running into a mountain or something. You guys, it's really tragic. It's really, really tragic. It really is. He was so young and such a talent. I mean, if you're anywhere 
around his age, 41 years old, you, you know he is the talent of our generation. When it comes to sports, you know, basketball, worldwide. Mm-hmm. He was just an outstanding talent. Mm. 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 We got this is amazing too. Mm-hmm. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the three days of soul food. I have truly enjoyed it. I really, really have. Before I move on and go any further, once again, you guys, make sure that we pray for the Bryant family and all of those families that lost their lives in the accident. Also, we have two Legion members, Mr. Mickey Smith, that, um, you know, has reached out and told me that she needs the Legion to pray. Um, she's having surgery on her lungs on the 28th. And she wants us to pray for her, y'all. So y'all, let's please do that. This is one of our own. We definitely want to pray for the Legion. Everybody in the in the uh, prayer list. But we definitely want to pray for Mr. Mickey. And also Miss D. Williams. Mmm. Miss D. Williams, about two shows ago, um, when she reached out to me, I put her post in the community post. Not in the community post. I pinned it on the video. And you guys, she's going through a tough time now, her and her family. And we want to pray. She's a part of us. And we want to pray. I thank you guys in advance for your cooperation. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all, I know this plate probably don't look like a whole lot, but baby, it is good. It's really good. Y'all, I wrote the, um, Mmm. I wrote the mmm. Mmm. Recipe got in the order that you cook this. So let me go ahead and see how I make this. Mmm. Yeah, yeah, big one. Well, yeah, big old citrulline. Very amazing. Mmm. Well, let me go ahead and tell y'all how to make this corn. Before I not be able to stop. Mmm. How, baby? This corn is good. So what you want to do to make this fried corn now, this is on the way that I make it. And I have a few things that I add in mine and do mine a little different way than the standard way. Where a person probably would do it. But let me tell you what I do. I get eight ears of corn, right? Fresh corn. It's already shook. You can buy it like in a grocery store if you want to. Um, where it's already shook and the ends are cut off for you. That's fine, but that corn generally has lost some of its moisture because it's already cutting out of the husk. I buy the ones that has the husk on it and husk them myself. You know, take the outside off of it myself. But anyway, you want to take a knife and take your bowl and you want to cut the corn, just straight down the corn to get it off of the cob. Then you want to take the back side of the knife and push it down on the corn so you can get that like milky goodness out of it. You'll see it when you do it. Okay? When you do that, 
You want to add two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of flour. Okay, you want to add, I put a quarter of a green, red, and yellow bell pepper in mine. Just because I like that extra crunch and I like that taste that it adds to it. Mmm. And then you need, there's two ways to do this. You either need one cup of heavy, whip, heavy whipping cream and a half a cup of water. Or the way that I do it, I put one cup of milk, a half a stick of butter, and a full of a cup of water. That's what I do. Then you need a pinch of salt and fresh ground pepper. I don't know why everybody does that, but generally everybody does like, you know, like in a pepper grinder. I'm sure regular pepper probably would work, but I've always used the fresh ground because that's the way I learned how to cook it. Mmm. Y'all, this food is good. Now, then you want to put your, I cook mine in a cast iron skillet. You need two tablespoons of bacon uh, grease, what you need. By now, this is the way that I do it. I take four slabs of thick sliced bacon, and I cut them up into little quarters, like in little pieces. And I put them over in my cast iron skillet, and I cook them so they get crispy like, let me see if I can find a piece. I probably ate them all up. So they get brown and crispy. Oh, you can't see that. Maybe. Can you see it? So it gets brown and crispy. And then I take the bacon and I add it to the mixture of everything I just told you to put in that bowl. And I mix it up. And then I drain some of the grease and see my cast iron skillet out and leave the two tablespoons that I need. Okay. Then, bag it. You mix your stuff up real, real good. Mix it up real, real good. Everything that I told you to put in there, and then you take that bowl. Now, it's going to be watery. It's supposed to be. Don't worry about that. That's, that's how it's supposed to look. From everything that you added to it, it's going to be watery. Now, then you take it, and you pour it up in that cast iron skillet, or whatever skillet that you use, and, mmm, Adjust your temperature like between medium and on my stove four. Medium is six. And you adjust it so that it doesn't bubble too fast. But it is cooking really, really good. And you watch it and you stir it and you pan fry it for 30 minutes. Turn it off, put a top on it. Because when you're cooking it, you don't cover it up. Turn it off, put a top on it, honey. Let it cool on its own a little bit. Baby, busting. It's busting. It really is. Now, if you didn't get the directions, after you get through with the video, look at it a second time and write it down. Mmm. It's always good. It's really good. It really, really is. Mmm. As you can see, I done tore it up. I done tore this meal up, honey. Yes, I have. Mmm. Mmm. I done tore it up. Now, y'all. Mmm. I want y'all to know. Right now, that I'm going to do a toast to my legion. So, if you need to pause and go get you something, go get you something. God, I'm going to give a toast. To my legion. Yes, I am. Go ahead. We're going to wait on you. Put me on pause, though. <clears throat> uh, whoa, wait a minute. Mm. That lips hot house. I got in the throat. Y'all, I got up some Sutter Homes. I'm still on this, y'all. 
let's pour us up a drink here. Uh-huh. We're just going to put it all the way now. And our dog beverage. <laughs> adult beverage is here, you guys. You guys. We have went through some recent struggles. And I just want to let you guys know that you guys are the best in the business in every way. You really, really are. Me and my family, we appreciate and we love you so, 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 so much. We really do. We love you guys so much. You guys are so dedicated. You're so loyal. And we love you for that. We really, really do. We really, really do, you guys. We love you so much. Thank you so much for being great people. You're the best in the business. Cheers to my legion. I love you all. Always remember, I love me. I love you. I particularly love us. That's why we're the Legion. Baby, I love you guys. Cheers to you guys. Oh. Oh. That sort of home is good. Oh, that's good. Really, I love you guys so, so much. Mm-hmm. I really do. Oh. Mm-hmm. I love me some chillings. Chitterlings. Mm-hmm. I love me some cabbage. I love me some fried corn. And I love me some fried okra. Mm. 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 Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay, y'all, look. We've been eating this soul food for three days. Mm-hmm. We ain't gonna have no soul food tomorrow. We not. But anyone who, y'all, we finna get up out of here. We finna get up out of here. You guys, don't forget to pray. Keep the Bryant family, Kobe Bryant's family, in your prayers. Because like I said, I know that has got to be an amazing feat for his wife, what she's going through right now, to lose her husband and her child all at the same time. That has got to be an overwhelming a sense of grief that she's going through, you guys. So make sure that we pray for that. You guys, make sure that you try your very, very best to pray for Demicky Smith and Miss D. Williams. Pray for them in their names, just like the Bryant family. Ask God to give them comfort. And dispatch angels in their situation. Let me let you see the nails one more time, just in case you didn't see them earlier. Those are the thumbs. That's what we got this time. And we're finna get up out of here, y'all. Big Ben says good night. <laughs> Big Ben says good night. Y'all, I need that nice refreshing water with all you titterings. Any that, anyway, you guys, we love you so, so, so much. Now we go. Comment, like, and share, and go. Check for the team. Comment, like, and share, and go. Check for the team. Comment, like, and share, and go. Don't take it for the team. We'll do it, beverage. I waited too late to drink the first one, and I got to finish it. <laughs> Once again, cheers to the best legion in the business. I hope you guys have enjoyed the three days of soul food. Tomorrow, well, I got something else for you. I got another banger for you tomorrow. Make sure you watch 9 a.m. Central Time. Let me take it for the team, y'all. Ah! Oh, that's so good. That sweet wine is so good. Anyway, y'all, we're going to get up out of here. I love you guys so, so, so much. Try my new Legion. I love you guys so much. Me and my Legion... We welcome you. We welcome you, welcome you, welcome you to the Legion. We love you all. You could have been anywhere else in the world, but you chose to be here with us. And we love you for that. Mwah! So I'm my existing Legion. You know what's up. I tell you every day I have to. I have to tell you every day because I love you. I love you just that much. And I want you to know that, okay? So y'all, we finna get up out of here. We finna get up out of here. Me and my family appreciate each and every one of you guys. I don't think I want to go because I keep turning around, boy. <laughs> 
But we're gonna get up out of here, you guys. I love you so, so, so much, okay? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look, always remember that there's always more than one way home. When obstacles come up in your life, there's always more than one way home. All you have to do is get there. So get there, people, get there. I love you all, and I'm gonna see you guys next time. And if you're not here to watch your boy next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> bye bye. Mwah. Oh, baby, that was good. Yes, Lottie it was. I'm so full. Ah, I'm so full. I'm stuffed. Y'all, all day long. I got up this morning. I overslept. I overslept. I was supposed to be in the shop at 8.30. Then I had to call because I missed it. And they had to give me another permit for noon. I went and got my nails done. That took a long time. It took a two and a half hours to get my nails done. Y'all came home. I didn't start cooking this meal till about 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Hubby put the chitlins on. And then dish by dish, I walked back and forth in there and got it made for you. Because, baby, y'all. Everything that we had on this plate today, the corn, the okra, the cabbage, the chitlins, the hot water cornbread, these were all things. Back in the day in the country, this is the type of meal that you would have had on Sunday. Because everything that you see here could have been, would have been grown in the garden. The bell peppers, the only thing, the bacon would have been there for you from the killing of the hog. The chitlins would have been there for you for killing of the hog. You would have had to buy the meal and the flour, but everything else is pretty much, you know, the corn, you had that already because you grew it because you needed it to feed the cows. The cabbage you grew in your garden. The onions you grew in your garden. Baby, all of this would have been an exact type of meal that you would have had in back in the day, deep in the country. That's what it is. I really, really hope that it has attached you guys to some memory that you have of your childhood, especially if some of your family is from the South. Because they're from the South, you would have had some of these things on your dinner plate when you were growing up. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I really, really have. I did my best. I did my best. I really, really did. And we'll do this again. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys so, so much. I was finna tell y'all something about... Oh, I already told you. <laughs> I finished the thought. I just don't want to go, I guess. I love you guys so, 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 so much. I love you so much. Once again, you guys, don't forget to pray for the Bryan family, Demicky Smith, and D. Williams. Okay? Don't forget that. There's an important thing. And don't forget, if you haven't done so far, call and brighten up somebody's day today. I got to remind you. And one other thing before we go. Have you looked in the mirror this week? Or lately, because I haven't told you in a couple of weeks. Have you looked in the mirror and asked yourself, how are you treating yourself? That's so, 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 so important. That's so important. You got to treat yourself well before you can ever ask anyone else to. Remember, people in life will only respect you as much as you respect yourself. Respect yourself with love, dignity, at all times. Sometimes we fall short of that. But trust and believe that the values are in you, you'll return to it. I love you all so, so much, and I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Mwah. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. If you did one thing, if you did push that notification button in that bell, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Come it like a cherry. Come it like a cherry. Your boy done switched up on you.